Hi Taurus, I hope you're all doing well. We're gonna get into a reading here for you and see what's going on with you uh, generally. Okay, let's get into it. For Taurus, I feel like there's no time to waste here. <laughs> Interesting, I'm pulling the cards face down, so I guess we're uh, going to see what happens, I'm hearing, okay? So somebody's taking a risk here with something, or you are, you're just gonna play it out and see what happens here. Six of Pentacles. I feel like you're giving the sun in reverse. You're giving something the benefit of the doubt. Could even be a part of yourself. You're just like, I can, I can do this. I can wing it. Or, you know, I will trust in these people. You know, I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a go here. And it's kind of not like you to be so go with the flow in whatever we're talking about. But it's kind of like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll let, I'll let it, you prove yourself to me. Interesting. But it's almost like a situation where someone's asking you to prove, yeah, they're asking you to prove yourself to them, but you're actually handling it in the reverse. It's like, you know, when you go to an interview, you have to remember that you are interviewing them as well. Do you really want to be there? You know, and so that's important because when you do that, when you approach a situation like, hey, do I want to date you? Or hey, do I want to work there? Or do I want to be a part of this club, part of these people? You know, I need to check you out. I need to interview you. You need to impress me on a certain level, right? When you do that, it shows comfortability, I'm hearing, within yourself, authenticity, confidence. You're, you speak your truth as well, rather than speaking the truth others want you to say. Okay, so let's see. We got the Knight of Cups in reverse and coming in for the past here. You turned something down here in the past. I feel like you kind of closed up on someone or something. Just said, mm, it's it's not like you uh, made a big scene of anything or had a big show. It's just like you pulled back. You just pulled your energy back, which Taurus you can do, right? Like that's that's typically your response when something is not pleasing you or upsetting you. You pull your energy back. And, and that's smart because you know, Taurus, when you get angry, <laughs> it's a lot, right? So you usually go the route of pulling your energy back. So what's going on here? Why are you showing this to me? The Hierophant, there you are. By pulling your energy back from a situation, you were able to learn something about yourself. Yeah, about yourself. So whoever or whatever you were dealing with, it's like you kind of already knew what was going on or what this was all about. And by pulling your energy back, you, you showed something to yourself about yourself, your own strength maybe. Or your ability to, I'm hearing to go cold. Okay, that's for someone, not all of you. But it's like your ability to just shut shut it off. Shut the valve. Shut the valve off. The emotional valve. And sometimes we need to do that. We can't keep pouring out our energy and our love or our, our emotions or whatever it is without that being reciprocated. So you, you turn the valve off. And that taught you something. Because when you turn the valve off, then you have all of the energy to work with. You're not giving it away to anybody. So what'd you learn? Six of Swords. Well, you're okay going into the unknown. You have a lot of faith and trust in the universe. I mean, I know you're, you are ruled by Venus, but I always see Taurus as Earth. <laughs> like if we talk about all of the planets, <laughs> you know, Taurus is Gaia, Taurus is Earth. And you are home, you know, you are home. So wandering into the unknown in your own home <laughs> here in the 3D is not so scary because it's yours. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's see what's going on in the present moment. We have the King of Swords in reverse. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this one over, okay. Yeah, okay, so you're becoming a little bit, you could be 
feeling a little bit irritated or angry. Before in the past, you pulled back your emotions. That taught you something. Now I feel like you're kind of suppressing, <laughs> suppressing some communication, maybe for a very good reason, but suppressing some mental energy. Maybe you want to say something. There's something ticking I'm hearing. There's something going on now in your head uh, where you have some wisdom and you could speak it, but you're not. And I feel like that's creating a little bit of an issue here. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. It's not, it's interfering maybe with your work here. It's creating some kind of burden, Ten of Wands. This could be about work, like in a work situation. Why are you, why are you suppressing this? The sun in reverse, I keep seeing that in the nine of swords because you feel like you won't be seen and heard anyways for who you are or whatever it is that you want to contribute. So what's the point? Right. Taurus, I think you've spent a lot of time, some time in your life kind of showing up for people or showing people who you are, almost proving yourself in a way. And you're not going to do that again, even if that means you go completely silent. Taurus's silence really speaks volumes. When the, if we think about you as Earth, right? When the Earth stops responding, it is felt. It is felt. And I feel like this is what's going on here. But we have to be careful when we do that, I'm Taurus as well, that we don't close off a part of ourself to ourself or allow that to frustrate us. Because yes, why lay pearls before swine, right? Like why show people your magnificence in whatever way that is when they don't value it or when they can't see it or even if they make fun of it i'm hearing and get yourself into a state of anxiety why do that right it's not wise to do that but you also shouldn't hide or dim your light so this is about being strategic in finding a way to speak your truth Act with integrity, be the you that you are. I'm getting, but with, without intermingling with other energies. So maybe you need to kind of shield yourself here from a particular person or an energy. Like I'm hearing out of sight, out of mind. Okay, like, but you've done that, right? You've shut down, but maybe there's something you need to think about it less as a response to someone and more as a um, guided, wise act that comes from within. Okay, so less reactionary, I suppose. This is the energy you're dealing with and how they're viewing the situation, Knight of Swords. See, it's like an aggressive energy. Now in this deck, it's depicted as somebody like a little bit of a balancing act here. It's like someone's trying to impress someone, maybe you or maybe other people by holding a uncomfortable position for a long period of time or proving themselves. They're like, but it's aggressive and they're waiting and watching for your reaction, Taurus. Could be a part of yourself with yourself. It doesn't necessarily have to be like a person that on the outside world, on the outside world, interesting. Ten of Wands. They can't stand like that forever though. Magician, you could be waiting. You could, <laughs> you could be waiting it out to see how far this charade's gonna go, I'm hearing, to see how far they're gonna take things. There's also, you know, less dramatic. There's also something going on here where you know that people are not comfortable where they are. They're not wise. They're not 
doing what they should be doing or being free, I'm hearing. And it's like you're just kind of watching them be uncomfortable. And I feel like you don't want to come in and, and be the teacher anymore, I'm hearing. You're feeling like that's no longer your purpose. Eight of Wands. <laughs> They have other feelings about your purpose. They believe that you should be doing this, Taurus, okay? So whatever outside energy you're dealing with here, this Knight of Swords could be an air sign, but it's certainly somebody who's, I don't know, a little showy in a really strange way. It's like they're putting themselves out just to prove something. They're making things more difficult for themselves just to like, what are they just doing? Four of Wands. The Fool. They're, they're putting themselves in an uncomfortable position here to prove to themselves, actually, Maybe you're not aware of this to prove to themselves that they can do it, that they can find stability and structure on their own. Magician. Whatever's bothering you, they're doing it to manifest something. They're, they're using it to manifest a new beginning for themselves. Okay, Taurus. So you pulled back your energy and then you kind of shut down communicatively with this or whatever this is. Like I'm going to do the bare minimum or I'm not going to say anything at all kind of vibe here. And it's like this other energy is kind of pushing at you or prodding you while also making themselves really uncomfortable. And they think that they're, that in doing this, they're going to be able to manifest a new beginning for themselves. It's weird. It's like they're using your energy to make something for themselves. Ooh, right. So they're, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm, because they're seeing you as the eight of wands here with you light. You have a lot of light and you have a lot of energy. It's interesting that I was talking about that earth dynamic with you because it's almost like they're taking resources, like your resources, and then trying to build something with them. So this is like somebody who... you know, build something for themselves. How do I give an example? Okay, it's like maybe, I'll give a couple examples. So it's like somebody, which doesn't have to be your situation, I'm just trying to explain it. It's like somebody starts a relationship with someone else, they begin dating. And all they do is try to prove how good of a person they are by talking shit about their ex to this new person. It's like they're trying to build a relationship by talking shit about their ex, you know? It's like they're using that energy to build something. Or it's like somebody trying to build a group of friends by talking shit about other people. It's like that. Except you're the, <laughs> you're the ex or you're the, the, the person. And there's something about you pulling back your energy and not saying anything that makes them feel like they're, they're getting away with it. Two of wands in reverse. For the feelings here. One more. Two of pentacles. This is unfortunate because six of pentacles. Yeah, because they've decided to kind of like feed off of you 
which means that when you shut off that valve, or maybe you already have, they start to go into like a feeding frenzy. There's a little bit of a panic and they might push you even more to try to get you to turn that valve on again. I don't know what's going on here. What's the, what's the point of this? Like, what's the point of this? Wheel of Fortune. Tower behind that. Tell me more about what the point of this is. They're trying to expand their energy. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so you are like the devil in reverse. They've been working on something for quite some time here. Themselves, whatever it is. They've been working, working, working. They've had a strategy. But it's like nothing's really coming in. Or what they want isn't really coming in. So here you are. And you provide like this energetic fodder for them to just kind of work with or take from. You could be dealing with someone who's very narcissistic. This is what it feels like. But I'm getting this feeling like maybe they're not even aware of it totally. Because if they were, they would realize that once you turn that valve off, everything's going to crumble for them. But they're not understanding it like that. It's like they actually feel like they could take something of yours. Like, I don't know. And then have a massive glow up or change in their life that everything will begin to expand. I'm here, I'm hearing parroting, okay? They could be parroting, like, you know, repeating what it is you're saying, which is why you're not saying anything at all. If this isn't a love context, what's going on here? Five of swords in reverse. We had that before for you, Taurus, the last reading. Someone's playing a game that you're not playing. Seven of Cups in reverse. I was like, I don't think this person realizes that. There's still like some illusion here. Two of Cups. Two of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Two of Cups. There's an attachment here. This thing is attached to you. I, I don't. I say thing because I don't know exactly what it is we're talking about. Could be multiple aspects going on in your life. Okay, so what is the intention here? Six of Cups. It could be a past life connection or past life energy, but it's like they want to keep you. Um, well, I'm seeing this web here and all these things trapped in it. Tell me more about the Six of Cups for Taurus. Queen of Pentacles. It's like they want you to do the work and they can cash in. The Emperor. But it feels like... Kind of like... What? In what world would this happen? Not in Taurus world, right? Knight of Wands. And the Five of Swords again in reverse. They might be a little bit arrogant here, or maybe they're just too passionate, you know, like, or just they just have too much fire energy and they're not thinking enough. They don't have enough air, you know, like they're not using their head here. Okay. <laughs> what you should know Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, it's like they're not using their head. They're not thinking here, they don't understand something. You can't live off of the backs of others and expect that, manif that manifestation to be something that is going to be expansive in the positive sense. I mean, it could expand, but not in a good way. I'm not sure this person realizes what they're doing. Yeah, five of wands here. an energy that feeds off conflict or some kind of drama here two of swords okay we have all the twos out now so there's a need to bring things into balance let's see what the advice is also i wouldn't really give too much weight to whatever this person's saying okay doesn't feel like original thoughts 
It doesn't, and I feel like you know this, or it doesn't feel like it's the truth, what they're saying, if they're saying anything here. The Empress, for your advice. Taurus. <laughs> yeah, the world, right? Queen Bee. <laughs> so we have the bee there. I think this reading is, is, we have both your cards out here, the Hierophant and the Empress, you know, both coming in strong positions here that are speaking about your energy. I think this reading is just like giving you confirmation that it is what you think it is. And it's unfortunate. And there's no, there's no need to be afraid of it or intimidated by it. And I do think shutting the valve off here is a good idea out of sight, out of mind here. I would say limit your contact in whatever way you can, but don't dim your light either. The outcome, Queen of Cups. This person's like mirroring you in some way. Let me know about the Queen of Cups. The Hangman in reverse. And the King of Wands again. But they don't have your perspective. They don't have your enlightenment. They don't see things as you do. And that's okay. We can all see things in different ways. We have different ways of doing things, different ways of loving, different ways of working with people, different ways of doing energy work. We're like, we're different, you know, and that's beautiful. And that's why we can all, you know, when we, when it works, right, when we're in alignment, we can all come together as different aspects and like harness the power. I don't know what this is about, but like this person here, I'm hearing, I do things for myself. Maybe that's, Maybe that's their MO. They just do things for themselves and not others. Not really. No, not really, if you think about it. Okay? So there's something here that they're mirroring, and maybe it's you doing something that actually gives. Like maybe you're, you were in a relationship. I'm hearing I love myself, and you loved yourself, and then you also loved that person, you know? And it's like this person's mirroring, like, okay, if I love myself then somebody will love me, but they're forgetting that they actually have to love another person. <laughs> Something like this, Taurus? I don't even know. There's an arrogance here with this person. It's unfortunate. It could just be a moment they're having, Queen of Swords, until they see things clearly again. Page of Swords. Okay, I'm going to get into the extended, <laughs> and we're going to do another layer here and see see what's going on. Uh, with this energy. All right, Taurus, uh, but if this is where you go, I love you so much. I'll see you next time.